need you to do. If you're older than me, I need y'all to view me as little brother right now. And if you're younger than me, I need you to view me as big brother right now. And don't even see me as this YouTube guy because I need y'all to see me as family. Let's have a true family discussion right now because that's the only way I feel like, you know, we're going to have the discussion I want to have. I, and I want your opinion on this too because... I don't know if I'm the only one that's being bothered. I may offend some people, so if I offend you, I'm not trying to offend you, but I think we need to have a true, honest discussion within our family. And this is family space right here, right now. Like I said, I'm brother. If we the same age, we just brother, whatever. But um, let's have a true discussion. What I'm talking about is this whole notion of standards and priorities. And I want to say, if I cussed, I would say it's a whole completely different way, but I'm gonna say it the way I say it since I don't cuss. We have a messed up party system. And so you can substitute the word if you want to substitute the word. I'm pretty sure if I cuss that I have probably 10,000 viewers because for some reason people like to follow people that cuss and say all these crazy things. But we have a messed up way of thinking. We have a messed up party system. And we have a messed up way that we set standards for ourselves. And what do I mean by this? Um, for example, I've been sitting on television. Um, all these people going out to get these little shoes. I don't even know the name of them. I know they they supposed to be like some space shoes or some, some astro, astronaut type shoes or something. But all I know they cost 200 and some dollars, which is, in my opinion, is ridiculous. But it's not even the price for them. It's what people do to get these shoes. That's my problem. So it's these people that will sleep outside. It's, they show one boy in the tent that stayed for almost a week just to get these shoes, to be first one in line to get these shoes. And you got these people that show up like eight o'clock the previous day just to make sure that they in line so they can get these shoes. And I, I was sitting there just thinking like, dang, that's messed up. And a few weeks ago, they had the Jordans that came out. And the same thing, you got people fighting each other, fighting the police officers, just acting a fool, killing each other on They doing all these crazy stuff over these shoes. And I'm like, dang, that's messed up. And so my mind, you know, being who I am, my mind start turning. And I'm thinking like, how bad our priorities are. We'll sit in line all night to get a pair of shoes, but we won't stay up for a couple hours within the night to study for a test. Y'all don't see a problem with that. I mean, like, I'm not even trying to be a jerk about the situation, but we don't see a problem with that. And then I just started thinking about all these other things that we do. I started thinking about how we'll spend all day, all night, perfecting a video game. I don't even play video games, but they be playing Madden. I do know Madden, one of the popular games. And, 2K, um, I think it's the basketball one, but they spent all day perfecting this game, but then we want to spend a few hours perfecting the study or the, the subject that we want to go on and, and major in. That's a problem. Or not just the men, let me switch it over to the women. We spend all this energy and this time trying to get this Lou, or what the shoes, the red bottom shoes, that's all I know. I can't, I always call them Louis Vuitton, but they're not Louis Vuitton, it's Louis Vuitton. Lose something, but we're spending our young ladies spend all the time trying to get these shoes, but then they won't spend time on the things that's important in life, such as your education, um, trying to advance yourself. We focus so much on these material things, and if I want to put it in the grand scheme of things, what we do, we invest in all these things that give us nothing in return. And we will negate all the things that could give us something in return, which is like your education, your spirituality, um, a healthy relationship, a man that really cares, a woman that really cares for you, that's going to help build you up instead of somebody that's going to take away from you. When you spend money into these shoes and material things, you create debt. I was having a conversation with a colleague, and we were talking about what's the difference between the have and the have nots. If you listen to Warren Buffett, all he talks about is investments. That's what he, he invests his money and so he invests in things that's going to give him money back but the people like us we get money all we want to do and invest is invest in things that's not going to give us anything back in return and it's just not just money it's what do we invest our time in we invest our time in these video games we invest our time and here's another thing i was thinking about we invest our time in trying to prove to somebody that we can be good in the bed we'll work on our skills in the bedroom but we won't work on what's really what really sustains a relationship, which is like loving somebody. We don't work on um, being a great boyfriend, great girlfriend, great husband, great parent. But we'll invest all this time trying to prove that we're sexually uh, a professional in the bed or whatever. And that's just a problem. And we need to quit trying to prove ourselves for these materialistic things because this is going to just get us in trouble because it's eating up all our time. And I feel like we are just being preoccupied with these things that's not giving us any thing back 
and we need to start focusing on this important things. We need to start investing our money. We need to start taking our time the same way that we want to make sure those Jordans authentic to make sure we got the right Jordans and they got to have the number. I don't know if they got numbers or something that come with them or these little bags to make sure that they authentic, got the right seal inside to prove it. We want to make sure that all that, all the intricate details are correct, but we won't take the time to get to know the person that we are thinking about being in a relationship with. So we just go ahead and be with that person and then they start taking away from us which we creating this debt. We ain't creating no equity. We creating all this debt because this person is taking from us mentally, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. They're taking everything, but we're not getting anything in return. When we need to take our time, quit being a microwave society, wanting everything so quickly. We want everything to happen so fast. We want this quick pair of shoes that's only gonna last about a week because nobody cares about these shoes a week later. But we want those right now. But then we don't want to invest in something that may take a little longer to build the interest on it that's coming back to you. We don't want to invest in that stuff because it's not happening right now. And we got to change our mind frame, y'all. In, in terms of school, we got to change our mind frame. Students, I'm talking to all the people that's in classes right now. I work on the college campus. I've been on three different college campuses. We are, we are dropping the ball. We're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're not doing our homework. We, we Young men trying to be rappers, we'll sit there and work on a four-hour rap trying to figure out how to write us block, all this stuff. But we won't write the little short stories you want us to write in class, a two-page paper. We won't write that. Get a zero. Fell out of school. Now we sitting over here still trying to write raps. Not getting a, You're not getting a deal. I'm sorry. 90% of the people, 95, maybe 98%, you're not getting deals. I'm sorry. It seems good. It looks good. The thing is we need to quit being the rappers and try to be the CEOs. But I'm pretty sure for a lot of these CEO positions, you need a certain type of credentials. And I'm pretty sure that's a degree. So we need to start focusing on the things that's gonna give us something in return and quit focusing on this trivia stuff that means nothing. It's not gonna give you anything in return. Madden is not gonna give you anything in return. You might get a t-shirt for winning the Madden tournament, but that's about it. Listen, we gotta change the way we think. We gotta get in healthier relationships, y'all. We gotta quit getting with these people that's taken away from us. We gotta start focusing on the right things. I hope this video challenged you to think differently. I wanna know your opinions. If you disagree, say you disagree, that's okay. Write it in the box, but we need to start having these discussions because if not, we're not gonna be in positions where we can make change. Because we, yeah, we'll be good at Madden, but then again, we won't have the credentials to get into the right positions to affect true change, y'all. We all, uh, it, it just bothers me so much. Um, it, this is something I'm passionate about and people can say why you care, but I do care because at the end of the day, when my, when you little young boys and little girls, uh, young black girls out here, they looking at us, we are showing them what they can be. And if all we're doing is playing Madden, all we're doing is being a, a Madden professional or a, a wannabe rapper or whatever, and we're not showing them to be successful in school, that's what they're gonna follow. And so we gotta change, because if not, we're gonna die as a race. And I'm not talking just die off, but we're gonna die in terms of our, uh, our influence on this country. And so I need y'all to step it up. I know um, this ain't one of my just uppity videos, but I need y'all to step it up. And please comment in the box. Please share this if you like the video. Um, check out our other videos. I'm back to Happy Corey now. So check out our other videos. We got some good stuff on the site. Um, good stuff at urbanconnect.com. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Thank y'all. Have a blessed day.